The youth sports growth cycle is simple but very powerful. It can be extremely effective in helping youth to become better athletes and even better people. Let's break down the five steps of the youth sports growth cycle. Fun is so important that it is the beginning and the end of the youth sports growth cycle. It is the reason we look forward to some things and not others. We want to do things that are fun and we will go out of our way to make sure that we have those experiences. As a coach or a parent, the foremost concern should be, is the program fun? Are they enjoying it? Because if it isn't fun, they won't keep doing it and the cycle ends. If it is fun, then they will continue to the next step of the cycle, participation without any issue. Focus on fun to get them to want to participate. It's not that difficult to understand that the more fun something is, the more likely the child will participate and be fully engaged in the activity. They will be eager to attend, they will maintain focus, and ask quality questions. Keep participation consistent and follow their lead to the level they want to engage. But don't push too hard too soon or they could burn out. With all that said, do whatever you can to maximize quality participation time. All of this together will create an environment of quicker and more in-depth learning and development. Participation naturally leads to some level of skill development. Everyone starts at level zero, but from there, the development depends on a variety of factors. Some of those factors are outside of anyone's control. Natural talent or physical development are some examples of that. But plenty is within our control. How much we practice, the quality of that practice, the skills we focus on, and the rate of progression through those skills. Keep focus on the core fundamental skills first and slowly branch out to more complicated skills as they become more confident in the fundamentals. Confidence is the mental side of development. Most kids aren't sure that they can do something until they actually are successful at doing it. Once the first aha moment happens and they accomplish something new, they start to believe that they can achieve more. They now have an understanding that at first it might be tough, but with practice, they can get it done. This builds more confidence to fight through adversity because they have had prior success and seen the other side. When they do have success, don't let it go unnoticed. Celebrate it like crazy and let them know that their hard work is paying off. The things mentioned above, fun, participation, skill development, and confidence building, all combined will lead to success. And being successful is the peak of fun. Let's face it, even as adults, the better we are at something, the more likely we are to enjoy doing it and continue doing it. Kids are no different. Maybe they couldn't catch a football consistently, but they participated, they developed the skill, they gained the confidence, and in one game they successfully catch a short pass. Then they catch another, and then they catch a touchdown. That type of success is extremely valuable because it validates the process. It shows their dedication and proves to themselves that they can be successful. One of the greatest things about sports is that the growth cycle is the same or very similar for any other activity reading, math, science, music, art, no one starts off knowing how to do any of it. And we all have to learn it. And how the process is handled has a huge effect on how we progress and develop or how we don't. The bottom line, however, is as parents and coaches, our number one goal is to start and keep the growth cycle going by finding ways to make activities as fun as possible.